What is up YouTube? This is Shroth from Art of Presentations and I'm back with an interesting video today for you guys. Today we'll be talking about how to add slide numbers to your PowerPoint presentation. That's right, there are multiple ways in which you can actually add a slide number to your presentation slide. The easiest of them would be really to insert a text box and add a number and just push it onto the bottom right corner of your slide. But if you're doing that, you'll actually have to insert a slide number on every single slide. And later on, if you want to insert a new slide between a sequence of slides, it just completely messes up with your slide numbers that you've just added. So what is the correct way of adding a slide number to your PowerPoint presentation? Well, that's exactly what I'll be teaching you in this video. So let me just hop onto my computer screen and let's get started with the tutorial. So here we are on my computer screen and I've just gone ahead and opened up a PowerPoint presentation just to save us a little time. And I've also gone ahead and opened a blank PowerPoint slide. And what I want to do over here is just show you how we can add slide numbers to this PowerPoint presentation. Now one thing that I do want to highlight over here is that I'm not going to be showing you the traditional and typical methods that PowerPoint expects its users to follow. Things that they've mentioned on their blog and their website and their support groups because what it expects you to do is really go to the master slide, insert a placeholder and then enable the footers and it's a little complex for people to understand is what I've understood, um, especially if you're a beginner. So the methods that I'll be showing you in this video are going to be pretty straightforward. Even if you're a beginner, you will be easily able to follow along and add slide numbers to your slide the correct way. Another thing that I do want you to remember is to know what you should not be doing while adding slide numbers to your presentation. And that is using an incorrect method. Now, when we're beginning out, when you're starting our presentation journey, uh, we are not really an expert. We don't understand the nuances of the features that PowerPoint provides you with. And so the most common method that people use for inserting a slide number is this. They just, you know, go ahead and insert a slide. And what they tend to do is just insert a text box and, you know, they'll drag and create something like this at the bottom of the screen and just add in a number over here and then they might just end up formatting it and then maybe they'll copy paste it onto multiple slides but what as you can see the numbers are not changing so you'll end up manually editing the numbers over here you know just to make sure that you have slide numbers on the first three slides for example but what this process really doesn't allow you to do is once you're done creating the presentation say you have about 30 slides and you want to you know move around the slides a little bit say you want to bring the slide back to the third slide back to second position now it completely messes up with the the you know the slide numbers on all your slides and so now you have to actually go back and manually re-enter the slide numbers on all your slides and that is really cumbersome and that's not really the right way of adding slide numbers to your slideshow something that i mentioned earlier in the introduction part of this video as well so how do you really add the slide number the correct way? I'm going to show you a couple of methods and then in the latter part of the video I'm also going to show you how you can make your slide numbers look nice and really stand out just the way I've created the slide numbers over here. It'll help you to transform your slide numbers from looking like a plain boring slide number to something that matches the overall color scheme and the design of your PowerPoint presentation. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this video. So let me just delete these slides right away and also the slide number over here and the first method is slightly more difficult and then i'm going to come back to an easier method the method that i typically use as it allows it a little bit of flexibility the first method is really for you to go to view and go to the slide master now i know that i did mention that i'm not going to be talking about the traditional methods used by powerpoint but just bear with me for a few minutes and you will understand it's slightly different from what typical methods are, but it's easy to follow along. Just go with it for the moment. Slide masters can be a little complex to understand and if you're not aware of how you need to work with slide masters, that's okay, you don't need to worry about it. Just follow along and you'll be completely fine. What you need to do is just go to any of these slides over here, maybe in between any of these two slides, and then just go to insert layout. What, is, what that's gonna do is just insert another slide here what we want to do is just get rid of this uh, title over here, the date and the footer. We'll just get rid of all these. The only thing that we want to retain over here is this slide number placeholder. And we'll just position it in a particular location on the slide wherever we want it to be. And now what we want to do is format it a little bit, 
to the way we want it. So we can do a center line, we can make it bold, we can increase the font size or even choose a different font if we wish to do that. And then what we want to do is go back to Slide Master and rename this particular slide. Now the way you could do that is you can select this slide and rename it over here by clicking rename or you can just right click on it and just select rename. And we're going to call this as blank slide with slide number. All right, so now we're going to close this master. You can see that slide master tab has now disappeared over here. We'll go back to home and now we're going to insert a new slide. You can just press enter to insert a new slide in PowerPoint. When you insert a new slide, it's just going to retain the layout which is there for the previous slide. So you might most likely see a blank layout because the previous slide was a blank layout. But what you want to also see is a blank slide with slide number layout, the one which we just created. So what we want to do over here is just select this blank slide with slide number layout that we just created. And now go to insert and under insert, look for slide number. So when you click on it, just say slide number starts with one and apply. You don't want to do apply to all. You just want to do apply. And that way it's going to apply the slide number to this particular slide. Now, as you can see, you will have the slide number on this particular slide and you can format the slide number the way you want. You can change the font color. You can change it the way you want. You have that flexibility. Now, what you can do is copy the slide by pressing Ctrl C or right click and press copy. And then paste the slide or you can do Ctrl D or Command D on Mac. What that's going to do is duplicate the slide. Any of these two methods, just create another slide with the same format. And now you will see that you will notice that there is a slide number on this particular slide. And as you paste more slides, you can see the slide number changing. So these are the slides that we just added. So that's the first method that you can add a slide number to your PowerPoint presentation. And that's a clever way of adding a slide number. Now, if you want to get rid of the slide numbers that you've added to these slides for whatever reason, you just don't want the slide numbers anymore. Just select all these slides where the slide number exists. So I'm just going to press shift and select all these slide numbers and then go to insert, go to slide number and uncheck this box and hit apply. And what that's going to do is just remove the slide numbers from all these slides that we just added. One thing that you do want to remember is that you need to make sure that the slide layout is still blank slide with slide number when you add or remove the slide number from each particular slide. So that's the first method of adding a slide number. Let me just get rid of these slides over here and let me start with a blank slide. So here's the blank slide. And uh, as you can see, this is a blank layout and this is not the blank slide with slide number. So let me just quickly go ahead and insert another slide over here. And as you can see, this is also a blank layout. So now an easier method that you can use to add a slide number over here is instead of creating another uh, layout in the master slide, what you could also do is just insert a text box over here and when it is selected and you can know that the text box is selected when you have this blinking cursor inside of the text box once you are in that kind of a situation where you have this cursor blinking inside the text box then you want to go to insert and under the insert tab click on slide number now bear in mind that some of the older powerpoint versions might not have this feature and in that case you might want to use the first method and that's one of the reasons why i've showed you the first method but if you're using an Office 365 subscription or if you're using a Microsoft Office uh, 2016 or above, then this method is going to be good for you. So what you want to do is once again, go to the specific slide you want to add a slide number to, insert a text box and within the text box, make sure that you have a cursor which is blinking, which means that the text box is in edit mode. And then you want to go ahead and add slide number under the insert tab. Click on slide number and you can have the slide number for that particular slide. And that's it. It's that easy. Now you can again, just as we did before, you can very easily just format this slide number. You can make it bold. You can center line it. You can do whatever you want, just as you would edit a text box and the text in a text box. Now the beauty of it is it seems like it's just adding another text box, but check what happens when I copy and paste this slide. 
And as you can see, this, this number changes and you can now keep adding as many slides as you want and you will notice that the slide number for each of this slide is changing. So that is the second method and both these methods are very easy to do, very easy to follow even if you're a beginner. This is not really a traditional method which is slightly more detailed which I'm not going to talk about over here. But what I do want to show you is how you can make your slide numbers look pretty and look creative. Now I've already shown you how you can edit this text box and just the way you would add a text onto a slide and you can pretty much format it the way you would format a text and make it look nice better than what a typical slide number looks on presentation slide but what i also want to show you over here is how you could think a little out of the box and create slide numbers like this as you can see this is actually following the colors of the brand and makes it look consistent with the slide and it has also got a little bit of a twist it doesn't really look like a plain slide number that you would typically see on a PowerPoint presentation, but rather it actually stands out by itself. The way you could do this very quickly, as you can see over here, I've just added these slide numbers over here. You can actually do multiple things. You can easily insert a shape over here. And the way I would do that is just go to shape and over here, you could just add a shape like this and send it back or just make sure that it extends slightly beyond the slide and send this to back by right clicking on it and clicking on select send it to back then you want to format the shape format shape what i would want to do is remove the border and then onto the color i'll choose one color that i would prefer this box to have so for now, I'm just going to say a darker red color and I'm just going to come over here and change the color of the font over here. For that, I'm just going to go to home and from the home menu, I'm just going to select white. And as you can already see that it looks much nicer. Now, one thing I do want you to have a look over here is this is a, a curved rectangle that I've chosen as my preference for this kind of a slide number design. You can go to the edge of this box and just move around this point over here and you notice that it looks slightly different and the edges get curved slightly more and what this does is really creates a unique shape and a unique design by just a few clicks and few changes and it just looks nice so let me show you how it looks in a full screen so we'll go to the slideshow mode and as you can see it already looks better than a typical slide number let me just adjust that a little bit let me just take a moment. We'll just push this slightly out of the slide over here. And what I also want to do over here is just make sure that we align it properly. So for that, I'm just going to go to arrange and click on align and middle align it. That's right. And then what I want to do is just drag this a little bit towards the bottom of the slide. There we go. Let's close this over here. And as you can see, I've just added this design over here to the slide number. And this is how it's going to look on a full screen slideshow. You can make it smaller. You can change the way you want on this particular slide. But that's just a very simple way. You can actually uh, create more shapes. You can actually use other shapes over here as well. Just go on insert and just use any of the other shapes that you would want. You can use these parallelograms and you can use other, uh, other shapes which are you know, provided over here. Trapezium. Uh, there's also diamond that you can use circles you can just use anything that you like in a slightly more creative way and that'll make your slide number really stand out on a PowerPoint presentation well that brings me to the end of this video and I hope that you've learned something new in this presentation tutorial and if you have then make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to this channel and for now this is Shroth signing off from our presentations and I'll see you in my next video